hope you're well. I promised you a little video about squash and how we can use those in uh, our cooking for our families. I'm going to turn this a little bit this way and see if it doesn't tip over. This is not my wheelhouse. My dad's really good at videos. My husband's good at videos. I'm not good at videos. So thank you for your patience. Okay, and I'm live in person with lots of poison ivy on my arms, so no makeup today. But squash is wonderful. We have lots of different squash, and it's readily available right now. You'll see it in um, the grocery store. You'll see it at farmer's markets. You'll see it at Giant Eagle and Acme and Save-A-Lot. And oh, who else has got a market here nearby? But there's lots of different kinds of squash. And what's wonderful about squash is that it'll store pretty well. It's a good time to buy it. And then you can put it somewhere in your house or in your cellar, and it'll keep for a long time. Um, so this is something that you could eat on later in the year if uh, groceries are a little tight or the seasons change and you're looking for something healthy and it's hard to come by healthy things but these all look really funny right and so how do we cook them um, if you have been getting pickups from Copley Community Outreach and you got the summer squash and it has like bumps on the outside of the yellow that's just a more mature version of this we've been picking every couple days but sometimes they turn real fast if it gets hot real fast. And so what I want you to do, you're going to slice that and cut the rind off. It's going to look kind of like this. Okay. And you just want that meat. So, so this one's been sitting for a couple days. So yours won't look just like that. If you have the kind that's a little bit soft and maybe lighter in color and not so many bumps, you can just slice this as it is. All right. And you'll get little chunks out of it. So specifically we talked about doing a patty pan, but any, <laughs> any squash that you have, you're going to want to wash the outside, okay? It had to get to you one way or another, and we are in a pandemic, so wash the outside, set it aside, and as long as your environment's not too warm and too moist, you can let them sit for just a little bit, as long as it's kind of firm on the outside, not squishy anywhere. If there's one squishy spot, cut it off, all right? So the things we're going to use today are some pretty basic ingredients. You can use rice or noodles if you want to, if those are what you have at your house, but if you're going to go shopping and you want to consider something that's you don't need to use Quaker, but whatever. Barley is something that's really good for your family, and it's going to have a feeling kind of like rice. But it has 19% uh, of your fiber in there. What does that do for your body? It helps all your systems work well. It helps your children's systems work well. And we need those things right now. And so it's really inexpensive, and it's something that's going to feel like rice in your child's mouth as they're eating. But it's going to have a different nutritional um, input, which is great. It's similar in cost to like a... Um, um, a box of spaghetti so that's pretty cool if your kids are just kind of turning over to a new uh, texture in their mouth my kids are texture kids and so sometimes it's difficult to, to turn them on to something that has a little bit of a different texture or shape you can add a little bit of brown sugar or a little bit of syrup or a little bit of molasses or a little bit of honey whatever sweetener they like for the first time that you make it and then it kind of makes it fun maybe a little bit of cinnamon in there makes it fun and then the next time they eat it they're more excited to, to kind of approach that other things that I prepared for you today, I cooked down some, um, some some sausage, and it's really good, just basic sausage. But if you don't have sausage right now, maybe you have some frozen um, hamburger patties in your freezer. Chop those up in the skillet, cook them up, and just kind of chop them up. If you have some hot dogs, if you have some tuna packets, if you have um, some pork, you can chop that up. Whatever kind of meat you might have could be helpful in one of our recipes. I also chopped up um, a bit, um, two carrots, okay, just kind of small, choppy, choppy, choppies. I wanted to talk through a couple of the different types of squash that we have here. Uh, we have our summer or long neck squash. This is the yellow guy here. I got sausage on my finger. And again, you can find that smaller or some of you got real big ones. We have the patty pans. Again, some are smaller, some are big ones. We're harvesting every couple days, but wow, the weather's been wonderful for growing this stuff. You might have something that looks like a butternut squash. This one's gonna turn sort of pinkish. Pink, it's kind of, it starts sort of green, goes yellow, and then goes pinkish, and that's super fun. You might have something that looks like this. What is this bumpy guy? Does anybody know? It was an acorn squash. These are great, this is a little one. Sometimes they're a little bit bigger. These are delicious to, um, to cook for soups and things. These also store really well because the rind is thick. You may have gotten some zucchinis. I just brought in the tail end of a zucchini because the other ones are outside. Um, but those are different squash. And the squash is good for your body in that it brings in your riboflavin and your uh, vitamin C and vitamin A. It's got fiber as well. And so if you take just a minute to chop these up and put them into your dinner with your family, 
it's going to have a really big impact on adding nutrients to their diet, which is wonderful. I understand I'm a mom in pandemic, just like you, and I can't do everything the way I want to right now. We're kind of rolling with the punches. Everybody is. So if this is your season that you need to kind of roll with the punches and you can't do everything just the way you want, please know that you're not alone in that. No big deal, okay? But this is one easy one you can do when you get in the kitchen. It takes about 10 minutes to prep, and then you'll have dinner on the table. So I'm going to give you two different recipes. My barley's cooking down right now. And the other one, I just have my skillet. Bada boom. Okay? I'm going to take my skillet, and I'm going to put in a little bit of butter. If you don't have butter, butter sometimes is expensive too. Take a little bit of oil or some bacon grease or what have you. Pop that into the skillet. Butter in the skillet. Again, sorry for the poison ivy. In my skillet, and I'm going to add a couple of my favorite spices. Now, these, these are from Acme, but you could get them anywhere. And they're like 4 to $5 for this big container. And as you know, the larger container that you buy, it's going to be a little less expensive. It'll last you. Uh, but you get about $5 to it. So each time you go to the grocery, grab one of these. These are going to add some huge flavor uh, to some of the basic things that you cook. So maybe some onion powder, some minced garlic, or some oregano, okay? Salt and pepper. Um, but it's an easy little $5 investment to add to uh, your flavor palette if you want to. So I added some butter into the skillet. It's melting down right now. Let's make sure we got that going. Oh, didn't even turn it on. Okay. I'm going to add to that some of my zucchini that I chopped up and cubed. All right. So I took the long part of the zucchini and chopped it up into little squares. Can you see about how big that is? There we go. All right. I'm going to pop that in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm out of sequence. I'm out of sequence. Eating, if it looks different, into something that's interesting to my children. And then they get a little bit more excited about trying new things. So, be right back. Let's see if I can show you this. Again, I am not a cooking instructor, but you can see this. Our onions have cooked down a little bit. We're kind of getting brown. And what I did, we talked about the different size patty pans, right? The little guys. So the littler they are, there's going to be fewer bumps on the outside. If there's fewer bumps on the outside, you know that's newer. And so you'll be less inclined to have to take the seeds out. The larger that they are, boom, it's going to have bigger seeds inside. You'll want to take those out. The little seeds, no big deal. You can just chop them right in. If you're not sure, kind of cut your patty pan across. But look at this beautiful, it looks like an inside of a seashell or something. There we go, wrong side. Isn't that beautiful? So what I've done on this is I just cut out this fleshy portion right here across the top and the sides. And I put it in my bowl. And with my onions in the butter, I put a little bit of the um, onion powder, a little bit of garlic in there, and some salt and pepper. I'll add some more if I need to. I'm putting my summer squash. Remember my yellow summer squash? This is the inside of that. Those seeds are small enough. You don't have to cut them out. Okay? That's kind of easy, kind of nice. Just chop, chop, chop. I'm going to pop those into the butter. Why the butter? Adds that richness of flavor so you want to eat it. Um, the body craves some fat too. and So we can soothe ourselves just a little bit with some healthy food. I also have some zucchini. I'll pop that in there too. Okay. And add my patty pan. You don't have to have the other squash. I just want you to see that they all can go together. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. What do I have here? Some sea salt and pepper. Whatever kind you have is just fine. And once this is my this is my honey. All right, add a little bit of something sweet if it's your children's first time doing this. And it'll invite them to eat it, and you can get that nutrient inside of them. And who cares if they enjoy their dinner just a little bit more. But what I try and do is cut it as a size. Um, I have school-age children and toddler. Their hands can pick it up. So if they're working on using their uh, forks and knives properly, which is a nice goal for everybody. But if they're working to do that, make it something that they can pick up and eat, okay? You want it to be pleasant for them to eat so they'll go to it and they'll enjoy it. But if it's something new, try and think of a fun way to present it to them. Um, all right, so for one of our fun, fun things that we're going to do is um, take your patty pan and you're going to make a little hole in here. And one of my kiddos just said that this looks like an ice cream scoop, so we can make that fun. Ice cream scoop with sprinkles. So what we're going to do is scoop out the middle of your patty pan. I just took a fork and I'm going around the edge. You got to kind of get it in there. Got to get it in there. If you want to be super, super cool for 2020, save your seeds. Rinse them off and save your seeds. You can plant them again next year. We're going to stuff these little ice cream scoop flying saucer flowers and we'll put them in the oven. Monsters. <laughs> All right, we're going to do our mixing. 
I want to thank you all for your patience because as you can see, my house is crazy. There's a lot going on in the background. So I took my sausage, bada boom. I'm going to mix it in with my, you see in there, a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper, just a titch of that garlic powder. And I use that so I don't have to always chop up my garlic. I got my barley, Ooh, looks like rice, okay? I'm going to mix them up in a bowl because it's all my stuff in it. And the carrot, do you remember from the very beginning I chopped up, people use the word mince, but I don't know if it's actually mince. It's kind of chopped smoke. It's, it's on the verge of mince. I don't know if we got there. Somebody else is running a cooking show that knows these things. But I chopped up my carrot nice and small there, okay? And I'm going to mix that into my, basically it's my stuffing, okay? We're coming into the fall season. Can you hear my household working on things out there? What are you guys working on? What's working well for you right now? What are some things that we need to work on together? Our nation certainly has lots of stuff they need to fix right now. And I know our neighbors here in Akron, there's so many good ministers and uh, community representatives who are working together for sort of um, symposiums and conversations. I think the University of Akron School of Law is doing a, a class that we can take about um, uh, racial relations and stuff right now. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on. So tell me something. I'm going to try and turn this just a little bit uh, so you're not blinded by the windows. Tell me something that's working for you right now um, if you want to comment. Um, or you can comment somebody who has a better recipe because they're good at this stuff. I'm mixing up my stuffing because usually I'll put my, spr uh, my sprinkles, my seasoning on top of the contents. And for the sake of time today, I put those in the bottom. So what are they doing? They're all sticking to the bottom like they do but it smells good it's beautiful it's all cleveland browns colors all right something that's working well for us right now is to take our expectations and drop them down <laughs> so with school going on and different working environments for everybody we're just taking our expectations and pumping the brakes a little bit we would like to be awesome and everything but we're not so as i say thank you for your patience as there's pounding on my house but that's the way it goes so do y'all have a 9 by 13 or something similar don't judge my stained dishware and i won't judge yours <laughs> Uh, a friend of mine who's really hip on vegetable stuff, a local farmer, um, down at Zalay's Market actually, taught me a long time ago that you just put a little bit of water in the bottom of your 9x13. You can take some of your squash that we're going to save because they're great. You can cook them anytime. Cut them open. Do you remember our green acorn squash? Remember that guy? I cut it in half and I took the seeds out. Scooped them out. Inside, I added a little bit of butter. I put a little bit of honey. You could put brown sugar. You could put regular sugar, whatever. You have a little bit of sweetener. Some salt and pepper on the top, and that's it. Put it down in that water just so it sits nicely and behaves itself. I also took some of these guys. I don't usually grow these. These are a different kind, but they smell like citrus. Same thing. A little bit of butter, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to bake these today since I'm in the kitchen, and then tomorrow I'll make some squash soup, maybe some bread. Maybe I'll pick up some bread from the grocery, and tomorrow we've got a healthy... Um, a healthy soup takes one meal off my plate for tomorrow. So as we're running around and getting ready for the busy week, one thing is off my plate, which is really helpful right now. Okay, so we're back to our Martians, right? We're going to take um, a spoon. Did I show you how beautiful our stuffing is? Look at this. Look at that. Okay, so many different colors. I did not cook down the, ca the carrots because like so many of us, there's a satisfaction that comes from that crunch. That's in, it's not in just in your head. We're all satisfied when we get a little bit of a crunch on stuff. And so I did not chop up my carrots too small. I mixed in my barley once again. And I just did, I think, whatever the recipe calls for on the box. This is nothing fancy. Um, let's see, I'm gonna read it to you carefully here. So for your barley, it was three quarter cup of barley, but it takes four cups of water to hydrate that. And so what that means is you just get a lot out of it. You guys already know this stuff. I know you do. I'm not good at doing cooking shows. So if I'm saying really basic stuff, it's not because I don't assume that you know. Uh, don't take that to heart. I'm just not good at doing cooking shows. This is not my wheelhouse, but we're all trying new things this year. So we're going to roll with it. Now, I'm going to make this super cute, but it's kind of toppling as I make it look like a ice cream scoop on top. So what I've done with my patty pan is I stuffed it down in there. And I'm going to give like a little pat to that and squish it in there with my barley and my sausage and my carrots. This feels like a date night thing. It's super cute and super cool. My husband will go for this, even though sometimes um, 
he's a little bit less inclined on the squash. I'm more on that. He likes me. But this guy, I probably won't be able to hold him up. And I'm not good at holding the camera because I don't want to. But uh, I'm going to pack that in there and make a nice little ice cream looking scoop on top. I'm going to pop it in the oven. Again, I told you that I'm, I preheated my oven to what? I think I said 400, 425. I'll let you know how it goes. Packing this full. I'm going to pop these two trays with squash. So I've got the one for tomorrow's soup. At the same time, I'm going to cook it. So I turn my oven on. I cook two things. Two different meals will be done. The squash I know is going to feed my family good stuff. Um, I also have the stuff on the skillet. I'll show you guys how that's cooking down. And I chose in there. I didn't get to say that out loud. I, again, sorry. Not my strong suit, but thanks for joining me. In the pan, I put three different colored squash. Why? One of the fun things that I do with children when I'm introducing different vegetables, maybe they're used to one color, right? They only have red ketchup. Do you remember when they made green ketchup a couple years ago? No children wanted to eat green ketchup. It didn't feel right to them. So green ketchup didn't really last. Same thing with foods, all right? We get accustomed to seeing things a certain way, and then we have to overcome that if we want to see um, eat something a little bit different sometimes. And so what I like to do with kids is introduce them to a few different colors or textures at the same time, and then we can have a taste test. And so we're going through our meal, and we'll say, which one do you like best? Do you like the white, which is the patty pan? Do you like the yellow, which is the long neck summer squash? Or do you like the green, which is our zucchini? And they can go through and they can taste it and get that texture. And you know they're eating it down. Sometimes they'll spit it out. No big deal. That's not a failure. It's just parenting. <laughs> but it changes the dynamic where you're not saying, eat your food, eat your food, if that goes on at your house. And they get to try something new. But no matter which color they like, they're adding nutrients into their diet. And so that's a pretty simple way of just, just changing the conversation. So friends, um, I hope that helps a little bit. Hope this helps make it approachable. I'll show you what's in the skillet just a second. I had a couple freeloaders get away from me, so don't mind the drizzle, but you can see the water in the bottom that keeps it from burning. My squash are stuffed and I'm putting my ice cream, oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I want to get in there. I'm going to put it in the oven now. All right, my patty pans and my squash for tomorrow's soup are all in the oven. I just finished up the skillet round and we've got different colors there just steaming off. So I'm gonna scoop in just some regular bowls and um, if you watch some cool cooking shows and stuff, they're gonna say sprinkle with balsamic and then add some organic goat cheese that you made yourself. <laughs> That's all cool. But this is maybe not the year that we get to do all those fun things. So it's super totally okay if you get your Sam's Club massive Parmesan sprinkler on the top. If you don't use any cheese at all, or maybe you have a little bit of Asiago left um, from a different recipe, and sprinkle that on some of your um, chopped up squash, cubed squash. Put them in bowls and serve them up to your family and have a great meal, all right? Um, I'll show you the patty pans when they come out. 